Hello YouTube, it's me, Caleb, Caleb Schmaltz Vacuums, and today I'm bringing you a short update on some vacuums I've needed some filters for, and a redneck way I found my way around this. First off, for a pack of 12 of these, I only spent $4.49 at Ace Hardware. You can see there. There they are. The vent filters. Pack of 12 of them. I just figured I put in a certain amount, like two, like like three to equal up to a normal Hoover filter size. They look like there's some good quality, you know. Let's use these to cut this open. Okay. Got these at the dollar store. Very nice. Um. Anyways, let's pull these out. Yep. There's twelve of them. There's a whole bunch of them. So. They will work. For a cheap, very affordable price of four forty nine for twelve of these. Now tell me if you think it's a good idea, because probably in the future I'll probably end up buying more of these to work on them, so anyways. Other than that, I have another update here. I may be getting a filter for this for free. Some of my, my friend's parents might have one laying around. I am not sure. But, there it is. Um, it's not dirty that bad. I just don't want to run it because it's got the smell of wet dog on it. So, at all. And that's about the only reason I don't want it. Um, other than that, the other filters on it run perfectly fine. So, absolutely no problems with them. The motor filter that's down here. Oops, not at the right angle, I guess. There you go. Then you just simply reach in and pull out. There you go. Then you just simply slide motor filter back in. Oh, first off, what helps if I put the door back in? Same direction. Push that on. And suck back in there again. And, um, sorry for somewhat of a short video, guys, but my laptop battery just announced that it's running on reserved power, so y'all know how that is. So, thanks for watching.